Hello and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. All right, today we're going to be showing you how to replace your upper and lower thermostats in your electric water heater. Uh, you don't need to shut the water off going to the water heater for this. You just need to shut the electricity off. So we located the 30 amp 220 breaker that says water heater in our electrical panel and turned it to off. Uh, next we need to remove the top inspection cover here to gain access to the thermostat. So you're going to want a quarter inch nut driver or a flat screwdriver is what this one takes. Set that up on top so we don't lose it with the screw. Alright, so now that we've got the upper inspection cover removed, we can bend this wire out of the way, flip up our insulation. Uh, you'll see this plastic clip right here. Pull it off. Try not to touch any of the wires just yet. Uh, we want to use a tester and make sure you got the right breaker and it's actually turned off. So we'll set this plastic cover up on top. There's two little clips, you just got to pull it off. Um, we'll go ahead and grab our tester. We'll touch it to the top two leads and make sure we have no power going to the unit. Alright, so we'll grab our 110 test meter. Uh, what you want to do is touch it to the top two screws, one in each terminal. So we'll put that one in there, put that one in there. And as you can see, it's not reading, so we have no power. Uh, we'll go ahead and test each leg to ground, just to make sure that one side isn't on. Um, you can use the tank itself or the ground screw up on top to give yourself the ground. Um, we have no reading, so it's actually powered off. So now we can go ahead and safely remove the wires. Um, you may want to snap a picture with your phone, that way you can tell exactly where they go as the wires need to go back in the same spot. Um, so the single wire up on top, the double on the right, the other one, single one on the right, and then this one that goes to the element. Uh, so we'll just take them apart one by one, uh, then we'll pop these little clips here on the bottom, slide up that thermostat, and replace it with our new one. You can use a piece of electrical tape or duct tape to hold the foam out of the way. Alright, so I moved the camera a little bit closer so you can actually see what we're doing. Like I said, you may want to snap a picture with your phone, that way you can tell exactly which colored wire went where. Um, so we have our two feeds in here, 110 and 110, to make the 220, to may operate the hot water heater. Um, so we're just going to move wire by wire. Uh, you may want a pair of needle nose to help pull them out. Uh, then we'll then do this clip in that and slide out the upper thermostat. Now there's going to be two blue wires here, so you want to make sure you keep them separated. Alright, so now that we get all the wires done, uh, you can take your screwdriver or your finger, there's a clip on both sides, um, just hold out on them, and then push up with your thumb and you should be able to pull the thermostat right out. All right, so that's our old thermostat. We'll go ahead and grab our new one, slide it in position. All right, so we unpacked our new thermostat. Um, as you can see, it came with a new plastic cover to cover the wires, uh, so we can discard the old one. Uh, we want to leave it set right at about 125. Um, you can adjust it if you like to after that. Um, any higher, and you're going to start running into the scolding risk for children and or elderly people. See if it's hot enough for you. If it's not, gradually increase it. Uh, so once we got a new one, we're going to go ahead and push the insulation out of the way, um, slide it into these little hooks, grab the little clip in there. You may have to lift them out a little bit until you get the tapered edge going into it, and just push straight down. should click and lock in. All right, so now we got a thermostat and it's locked into position. We can go ahead and reinstall the wires. Like I said, you may want to needle those pliers. Um, some of them are easier to grab and push back in. So we'll just go one by one and reinstall them. There's little holes on the side that you can slide it through, then you're going to tighten your screw down. Make sure they're on there pretty snug. Make sure they're all the way in and under that screw.
and you can go ahead and get it in there. <clears throat> Make sure it's all the way in there. Tighten it up. All right, now they get them all snugged down, we could definitely recheck them all to make sure they're snug. Even the ones we didn't turn, make sure they're tight. All right, check your temperature. Make sure you're at the 120 or just a little bit above. Uh, then we could go ahead and reinstall that cover. Um, you just line these four points up with those, and then this top tab Looks right there on that. Should hear it click. There you go, it's locked on. And now that we got the shield on covering the wires, I'll go ahead and move the camera and we'll go ahead and replace the lower thermostat. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll grab that flat screwdriver, remove the inspection cover. Set this cover right on the floor. Uh, we'll bend that wire out of the way the ground wire that way we can get access to it um, like I said if you can get a piece of tape hold that up out of your way makes it a little easier unless you got someone with you that can hold it for you all right so once we got the insulation taped up out of the way uh, we can go ahead and remove this cover covering the screws so we can gain access to them uh, we'll go ahead and grab that Phillips screwdriver and remove these two screws Um, same as the top, you need to hold these two little tabs forward or towards you and then slide the thermostat up and out. All right, we'll go ahead and unpackage our new one. All right, so this is a matching set. Um, this is the lower that is paired with that upper one. Um, it's got the degrees right on it. Like I said, we're just setting it just above 120. It comes with a new plastic shield to cover the wires. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and slide it in so those little clips lock into those silver tabs right there. All right, now that we got the thermostat clicked in and locked in, we can go ahead and reinstall those two wires. So you want your temperatures to be set the same on both thermostats. So since that one was 120 and a little bit more, we did the same thing down here. It's a little bit above 120. Um, we can go ahead and now and reinstall the plastic cover. Like I said, just push these two little clips on each side and that little tab right there should hold the middle. You should hear it click. Lock in. We can go ahead and release our insulation back on. Tuck it in. All right, now that we got the insulation put back together, we can reinstall that inspection cover. Uh, on this particular model, this tab slides into the bottom, and then that one screw at the top. Um, some have screws top and bottom. Got our flat screwdriver, quarter inch nut driver, tighten it back up. All right, so now that we got that lower inspection cover reinstalled, we'll go ahead and go back up top to the top thermostat. All right, so now that we got the lower inspection cover reinstalled, we can come back up here. Um, before I reassemble the top inspection cover, I like to turn the breaker on. Uh, here the element's heating up. One of the elements should be heating up. Uh, so you should hear a light hissing sound. Um, if you don't hear that sound, you can go ahead and shut the breaker back off. Pull this white cover off, and then we'll go ahead and test the top two leads to make sure we have 110 on each side, making the 220 to make the water heater operate. Uh, so we're going to show you how to do that now. We're going to pop this cover off. We'll go turn the power on, and then we'll go ahead and test the top two leads and see if we can hear that element heating up. Um, so you want to take your 110 test meter. What you can do is place it in the top two because those are our feed screws. 
Um, not sure if you can see it, but we're right to there. So that's 240 volts. So we have the proper voltage going to this water heater. So you can test each leg to make sure you have 110. So hold it on one side, touch the body of the water heater. Now you can see it lit up to the 120 mark. Now we can go ahead and test the other side. And you'll see that says 120 as well. Uh, so we can go ahead and shut the power back off, reinstall that white cover, and close up our inspection cover. All right, so we got the breaker off. We're gonna go ahead and reinstall our cover. Make sure it clips on, pushes all the way in. We'll go ahead and let our insulation fold back down. Put our wire, tuck them back in. Our inspection cover, like I said, this one has the narrower slot on the bottom which slides in there. Uh, some have the screw holes top and bottom. So we'll go ahead and reinstall that. All right, so if you're having a problem where you run out of hot water, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be your lower water heater element. Uh, so if you click right here, we'll show you how to fix that. All right, so with that top inspection cover reinstalled, that's it. We just showed you how to replace the upper and lower thermostats in your electric water heater. Uh, what this is gonna solve is a problem of you coming down to have to hit the reset all the time, um, the temperature fluctuating all the time, not maintaining a good temperature, or not making any hot water at all. So all those problems could be fixed by replacing the thermostat. Don't forget to click the link in the description, which will take you to our website for a full write-up. You can also click that subscribe button in the middle. On the right, we have a recommended video just for you. And on the left, you'll find our recent upload. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYGuy.net.